I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC. Now, this is an update to a video I made on NAC several years ago. You will learn why we use NAC as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is, how much to use, or the recommended NAC dosage, how many times per day to use NAC, the potential side effects of it, and the best place to buy NAC. So why should you listen to this video about NAC or n acetylcysteine Well, here's why. NAC is a powerful antioxidant and can boost mood, lower anxiety, improve memory, and reduce compulsive behavior. I'll cover each of these more benefits in more detail in the rest of this video review on NAC. So if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and hit the share button so others can learn about NAC and how it may help them and their brain health goals. So let's get started with more about NAC. N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, is the N-acetyl derivative of the naturally occurring amino acid L-cysteine, and it works primarily by helping restore the body's natural antioxidant, glutathione. As the most abundant antioxidant in your body, glutathione is responsible for maintaining oxidative balance in each of your cells. Now, taking glutathione as an nootropic supplement does not adequately restore glutathione levels in your brain because it has a hard time crossing the blood-brain barrier. Now, this vastly underrated nootropic, NAC, easily penetrates the blood-brain barrier and raises your glutathione levels in your brain. NAC has been used to treat acetaminophen poisoning for decades. Every year, there are 56,000 ER visits from Tylenol overdose, resulting in at least 100 deaths. NAC provides the glutathione your liver needs to fight off the metabolite NAPQL in Tylenol that does severe liver damage. Now as an entropic, NAC helps prevent glutamate toxicity, it boosts dopamine, reduces inflammation, oxidative, and free radical damage. L-cysteine is naturally produced in your body using the amino acid methionine. You can also get L-cysteine from eating ricotta in cottage cheese, yogurt, pork, chicken, turkey, duck, wheat germ, uh, gr granola, and oat flakes. But acute stress, illnesses, or a poor diet can deplete L-cysteine levels in your body and brain. The quickest and most efficient way to boost levels of L-cysteine is to supplement with NAC. NAC regulates the amount of glutamate in your brain. Glutamate is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for sending signals between neurons in the brain. This plays an important role in learning and forming memories. But too much glutamate can be toxic to brain cells. NAC regulates the amount of glutamate, and it keeps it at safe and healthy levels. Now, NAC influences the amount of dopamine available in your brain. It works to keep dopamine receptors healthy and able to transmit and receive dopamine. These neurotransmitters are crucial uh, for cognitive energy and drive, motor control, feelings of pleasure, and for focus. NAC is a precursor to the power anti powerful antioxidant glutathione, which is a potent anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and free radical scavenger. Your brain is especially vulnerable to inflammation, free radical, and oxidative damage. If left unchecked, inflammation, oxidative, and free radicals can negatively affect cognition, long-term potentiation, memory, and mood. As a nootropic, NAC can boost glutathione levels and dopamine use in your brain. NAC is also used by medical professionals to treat serious cognitive disorders like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, severe depression, and anxiety. N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, NAC reduces oxidative stress. Oxidative stress results in free radical damage in brain cells, leading to neurodegeneration ultimately, and ultimately Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and other age-related neuronal disorders. Proteins and DNA are injured, inflammation, tissue damage, and cellular apoptosis, or cell death, are the result. And neurohackers are not immune to the oxidative stress no matter what your age. Keep this in mind the next time you reach for a Diet Coke. Consumption of the artificial sweetener aspartame induces cortical 
inflammation, and oxidative stress. Researchers did a study with 30 adult male Wistar rats, randomly divided into three groups. The control group received distilled water. The second group was given aspartame. And the third group was given aspartame and NAC. Oral administration was done in the morning daily and for 90 days. The study found that NAC boosted brain-derived nootropic factor levels, it blocked the COX-2 and PGE-2 inflammatory enzymes, and it reduced the ex expression of interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor A, inflammatory cytokines in the rat cerebral cortex. They also found that NAC replenished glutathione levels. The researchers concluded that NAC prevented neurotoxicity, and improved neurological function, suppressed brain inflammation, and oxidative stress response. And second, NAC relieves depression. Major depressive disorder is one of the most common psychiatric disorders. It's a burden on the individual, family, and on the community. And the pharmaceutical companies are making literally billions on selling various antidepressants, not treating the cause, producing a host of side effects, and in most cases, just dumbing down the symptoms. But the pipeline for new antidepressant drug discovery is at a near standstill for treating problems like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, and common forms of autism. The good news is that neuroscience continues to work on the problem and have shown that many of these disorders share inflammation and oxidative stress as part of their disease physiology. Neuroscientists also discovered that associated pathways causing these diseases include a reduction in proteins that stimulate neuron growth, increased apoptosis, and reduced energy generation in mitochondria. So it turns out that NAC seems to have multiple effects on all of these pathways. NAC reduces the core symptoms of schizophrenia, it reduces depression, and it reduces cravings for a number of addictions including cocaine, cannabis, and tobacco. Anacetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, is a slightly modified version of the sulfur-containing amino acid L-cysteine. When taken as a supplement, NAC replenishes intracellular levels of the natural antioxidant glutathione, restoring your cells' ability to fight damage from reactive oxygen species. Conventional medicine has used NAC for decades as an inhaled mucus thinner to treat symptoms of cystic fibrosis. NAC is given intravenously, or orally, as a treatment for acute acetaminophen poisoning. NAC quickly restores glutathione levels, averting permanent disability or death. The nootropics community has recently discovered that NAC has a way to suppress inflammation in the brain. NAC prevents oxidative stress on brain cells. It eliminates free radicals. It restores brain-derived entropic factor. It rejuvenates dopamine receptors. And it improves overall cognitive function. NAC can help boost cognition, long-term potentiation for long-term memory formation, short-term and working memory, improve your mood, and quell anxiety. Neurohackers report that supplementing with NAC could be the best nootropic they've ever used for their brain and overall health. I know it's one of my favorites. The comments include, thinking is clear, there's less brain fog, memory improves, Concentration and atten attention improves. There's less anxiety, less depression, less irrit irritability. Their mood improves, more like a clean high. Symptoms caused by ADHD meds disappear. Obsessive compulsive behavior decreases. Sleep quality improves. Energy levels increase. Weight maintenance is easier. There's less flu and colds. Your skin looks better. You feel younger. And hangovers are less severe. Anacetyl-L-cysteine increases dopamine treatments for Parkinson's disease are limited to replacing dopamine in the brain, as well as some medications designed to slow down the disease. In 2016, researchers at Thomas Jefferson University showed that oxidative stress in the brain could play a critical role in the progression of Parkinson's. And this stress lowers levels of glutathione, a compound produced in the brain to counteract oxidative stress. Studies show that NAC helps reduce oxidative damage to neurons by helping restore the levels of that antioxidant glutathione. 
Now in this study, Parkinson's patients were placed into two groups. The first group received 50 milligrams per kilogram of NAC by IV once per week and 600 milligrams of NAC as a supplement twice a day on non-IV days. The second control group received only their standard Parkinson's treatment. Patients were evaluated at the beginning of the study and again three months later. The evaluation consisted of the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale and a SPEC brain scan which measures the amount of dopamine transporter in the brain. Compared to controls, the patients receiving NAC had significant improvements in their scores. One of the study authors said, we have not previously seen an intervention for Parkinson's disease have this kind of effect on the brain. The study demonstrated for the first time the direct effect of NAC on the brain's dopamine system. NAC has the unique ability to enable dopamine neurons to recover their function. NAC alleviates symptoms related to chronic obstructive lung disease. People suffering from COPD may experience long-term oxidative damage and inflammation of lung tissue, and lack of oxygen to the brain can have a severe impact on memory. In addition, any chronic lung disease, such as bronchitis, can cause airways to constrict. This inflammation may lead to shortness of breath or coughing. Research suggests that taking the potent antioxidant NAC Dietary supplements can help improve symptoms related to COPD, chronic bronchitis, and its complications and improve lung function. N-acetyl-L-cysteine repairs traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury is a major public health issue affecting 1.7 million Americans each year. TBI can be caused by sports injuries, work accidents, car and motorcycle accidents, falls, and your wife hitting you over the head with a frying pan. Many survivors end up with long-term or even permanent neurocogni neurocognitive dysfunction, affecting cognition, motor function, or movement and personality. These disabilities are estimated to cost $9.2 billion in lifetime medical costs and $51.2 billion in productivity losses. A major cause of TBI comes from blast exposure on the battlefield. Symptoms are similar to other cases of TBI, dizziness, hearing loss, headache, memory loss, sleep issues, and neurocognitive dysfunction. In a brain subjected to TBI, there is glutamate toxicity, free radical injury to brain cells, electrocyte imbalances, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, apoptosis, and stroke. This double-blind placebo-controlled study was conducted with 81 active duty service members at a forward-deployed field hospital in Iraq. All service members in this study were exposed to significant ordnance blast and met the criteria for TBI. Service members were randomly assigned to receive either a placebo or NAC for seven days. The, resol the resolution after seven days of all the TBI symptoms that I talked about earlier was the main outcome measure of this study. The researchers concluded that NAC was a safe pharmaceutical countermeasure of blast-induced TBI, and that further work on long-term outcomes and the potential use of NAC in civilian TBI is warranted. And then NAC helps alleviate depression. Both depression and bipolar disorder are complicated by glutathione depletion. The researchers in this double-blind, multi-center, placebo-controlled study worked with 75 subjects with bipolar disorder. Subjects received one gram of NAC twice daily for 24 weeks. NAC treatment caused a significant improvement with depression with those using NAC. The researchers concluded, NAC appears to be a safe and effective uh, augmentation strategy for depressive symptoms, and in this case, people suffering from bipolar disorder. NAC, suggested dosage for cognitive benefit, is 600 milligrams three times a day. Clinical studies have found that doses up to 2,000 milligrams per day are safe and effective. And one German study showed the safety of 2,800 milligrams per day for three months in patients with cystic fibrosis. NAC has also proven effective against seasonal influenza and flu-like illnesses. One large study of older adults in Italy took 600 milligrams of NAC twice daily for six months. Only 25% of those adults who used NAC experienced flu-like episodes compared to 79% of the placebo group. 
N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, is the N-acetyl form of the natural occurring amino acid L-cysteine. NAC is considered non-toxic and very safe. NAC is a slightly modified version of the sulfur-containing amino acid L-cysteine. So NAC, in powder form, can have an unpleasant smell. Very rarely can NAC cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. Even more rare are rashes, fever, headache, drowsiness, low blood pressure, and liver problems. Side effects can be a result of very high doses of NAC. And if you have a genetic condition called cystinuria, do not use NAC. This is a rare condition causes stones to form in the kidneys, uterus, and bladder from cysteine. NAC is the N-acetyl form of cysteine. One study has also found that long-term use of high-dose NAC can deplete your body's stores of zinc. So if you're using NAC every day, you should also supplement with zinc in a low-dose copper supplement. N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, is available in powder, tablet, and capsule form. NAC capsules and tablets are usually 500 milligrams. So where to buy? I highly recommend Life Extension, NAC. NAC was in short supply because of the, on July 23rd, 2020, the FDA sent a warning letter to Purple Biosciences LLC about its NAC product and asserted that NAC was illegally sold as a dietary supplement because it was approved as a drug in September 14, 1963. Several other letters were sent to supplement manufacturers, resulting in NAC being difficult to find on Amazon or many of the other sites that used to sell NAC. Several lawsuits were filed against the FDA, and NAC has since become easier to find in supplement sections of online stores. So, that's my report on NAC. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for N-acetyl-L-cysteine or NAC. Or click on the link in the notes section below this video. Now, once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. You'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. Now, if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And it is finally available, the second edition of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages and is available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. You'll find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. So please get your copy today. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar down below in the notes section of this video. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, Subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.